this is my jam right here, y'all. Listen, Joker to the left of you, Clown to the right. I'm both them motherfuckers. <laughs> I am a clown and a Joker. That's why this is my song. Listen to Of course, the song's over when I put it on. Rochester you know, Mac Bridge right like, now. Like, you know, Dr. Fauci? Fauci. Going into Rochester. Uh, what is Fauci? Well, find out at www.radio.com. Also, www.radio Radio on Facebook. Apparently, in these COVID times, Fauci is a new trend. Sometimes I feel Good song playing. Good day. Beautiful day. If y'all can see the beauty on a snowy, cold day like this. I know I can. Speed it up a bit, huh? Yeah, don't drive that fast. Don't drive that fast. Dangerous. Kind of. When you, the older I get, the slower I drive. Let's get to the roundabout. Hey, people don't know how to use this roundabout. Let me tell you, they don't know how to use the roundabout. They got the merge in. They treat this shit as a stop sign, but it's not. It's a merging thing. Something, something like that. Oh, good tune, good tune. I'm trying to make it to my spot down by the lake in Brady's Run Park, where everyone will go swimming at, to um, get pictures and videos to create my spiritual awakening video that I had. I had a spiritual awakening back in the summer of 2012, so I'm on my way to Brady's Run to get pictures and videos of the actual spot it happened at, because I feel this video is, I only get one shot at making this video, so um, I thought I'd make it realistic and the best I can so I could paint the image and get my point across of what Sever Living's like, how it was for me, what happened to me when I got clean and I had my spiritual awakening. So, yeah, enjoy. And I'll capture some views along the way here. So, yeah. This is, uh, what is it, 65 Beaver County? No, 51 Beaver County. So, just another little Beaver County adventure. Just, so this is, we're on 51, uh, coming out of Beaver, going into Brady's Run Park which is about two miles or so up the street. So, I know there's a restaurant here to the right. Or no, is it still there? No, maybe not. That was a long time ago. I can't see my screen, so I hope I'm recording this right. I hope I'm hitting the recording. You ever hit that? hit your button but you thought you hit the video record then you miss your whole video because you took a picture instead of recording yeah I do that a lot I got work on that well, I'm just gonna record this out till we get to the spot that way I get as many pictures and videos as possible uh, there's Zookies over there to the left and this Brady's Run In Grill, Brady's Run Grill, I got this, uh, what's that called? The, uh, shit, bagel burger or something? It was good as hell, though. I always get that when I go there. And then, let's see here. On this hillside to the left, 
I could come out this road, but I would start in the Brady's Road. You could actually go down there, walk up the hill, and you'll walk all, you'll walk all up there, okay? All the way there to the top, then it curves around, and then it'll take you down to, like, the horse arena. You can come out by the horse arena at, like, the end of the, um, the ice skate area of Brady's Run Park. But we're not doing that today. I'm just going to a where I have my spiritual awakening because I need to fulfill this video that I recorded last night on Valentine's Day about uh, what someone asked what sober living's like. So I explain. I like to explain my things in a video. I think it's best that way. It puts the image out there more. The, it makes my point. I, I feel like a misunderstood person when I tell my stories. But when I make a video, I don't feel so misunderstood. So thank you, YouTube, for making me feel understood whether if I am or not don't matter the feelings always good ah oh, you son of a bitch you son of a bitch haha <laughs> okay so now we got an obstacle so this is I believe the 14th the 15th of February so they got the road closed down let's go down and see what's up anyway I got time I just don't want to lose I need a little bit of daylight to get my pictures and videos this sucks I forgot all about that. I was just here not long ago, too, and they still got this locked off. Let's see how far you can go up. I wonder if there's a way around. Okay, well, obviously, the road's closed there. Um, I don't think there is a way around, but I don't know. Jeez, oh, man, look at that. That sucks. Look at the crack. Look at the crack. Ah, son of a gun, they got that block too. Well, this is the horse arena. So, I'm just gonna turn around here. That sucks. You take this road right here, you'll go up to, you follow that road and you stay to the left. Don't go off to the right, but you stay to the left when you go up that road back there. And it'll um, take you up to Pavilion 1. Which is pretty cool. I like to get up there and fly my drone. There's a big open spot. Um, if I put this part in the video, I, if I can remember, I could put like a, uh, a map to show you what it looks like from a bird's view, uh, bird's eye view, helicopter view, I like to call it, because of Grand Theft Auto, the video game. But um, okay, so I'm gonna have to take this detour. So we gotta come back out Brady's Run. <clears throat> and we're gonna have to make this right. Damn, I gotta go all the way around. That's gonna be a minute. Okay, so coming out of Brady's Run, hitting 51, making a right, you wanna take Brady's Run detour on Wildwood Drive. Wildwood Drive, you wanna make that right? Okay. So this is the detour. It's tumber. And yeah, I would say I'd be hiking. I got lost up in those woods. Pitch dark was like five, seven percent battery life left with my dog. That sucked that now. I got a little scared actually. Two a two mile hike turned to be like eight, eight and a half hours, something like that. Or I'm sorry, eight and a half miles, not hours. I don't know how many hours I was out there. Actually, I got a good look. I forget. So, <laughs> let's hope we don't run into a detour in the detour, right? We all know how that is in Beaver County. I love Beaver County, though. I don't care about no damn detours. I'll just go around. That's all. Go around. Anytime you get an obstacle, just go around. <laughs> That's all. It's a little longer, but it works. Hey, we should be getting there hopefully soon. I just want to get to my spot before the before it's completely dark. This is not the time of year to get the vi pictures and videos I need, but I'm going to do the best I can because I'm becoming impatient. I really want to make this video. So, oh, I know where we're at. We're going to come back down that hillside across the street from, from, uh, uh, I can make it, from, uh, Shit. Across the street from the big playground in Brady's Run Park, the big kids' playground. So, you'll see it. I think.
I love, I love some old school tunes for real. Listen to that shit. Love it. I'll get a copyright violation, but it's cool. Someone's out there. Someone is out there on the ice. I would never do that. My ass, my look, my dad was born Friday the 13th. I go out there on that ice. <laughs> That's just caving in. That's my luck. But I ain't going out on no ice. I'm just going where the sand where people snow. I gotta check this. I'm so glad I came out here today in the winter too. This shit I ain't never seen before. Someone is out on the river, the lake. A couple people. That's crazy. See, there used to be a building. Where, where am I at? Yeah, there used to be a building right here. They took it down. It was right where this pipe over here is. Used to stand underneath the building when uh when it rained. This is crazy. Look, so we're gonna walk out. I don't even know if I'm in the water yet. Man, just walking on the ground, just collapsing on you. See, I think I'm in the water now. Let's see. Y'all, I'm in my pajamas and shit. I actually bought my glove. This is water. I'm crazy as shit. I say this like in the summertime this is sand the rest of that that's a lake these people are crazy out there man that is wild all right let me snap some pics
they're on the lake. There's a couple people out there camping out on the lake. That's crazy. This is the lake. Behind me, right here, behind me now is uh, Brady's Run Road that goes through all through Brady's Run Park. This is the actual lake. I'm standing behind the beach right now. That grass is where the sand starts and it sand goes about 25 feet or something. The rest of that is lake to go over there. I swam across that lake one time with an inner tube. I ain't dumb. I don't want to drown. I can't believe people are camping on the ice out there. That's just crazy. Get some videos here. That's pretty cool. I never came out here winter, not in this spot. This is the first time. I just came here to get pictures to make my video of something that happened in the summertime. So the season is not right, but I'm gonna do the best I can. That's crazy. This might, hmm. so I think this is about where the river, where the lake starts. I might be standing on a lake, I don't know. But I know it starts somewhere. I believe I'm standing on the lake actually. That's crazy, man. I wanna go camping out there. I'll be, shit, my ass will fall in. So beautiful. I think I got enough pics and videos for my, for my spiritual awakening video. I can't help myself though. It feels like I need more pics and videos. I love pics and videos. That's crazy. That's uh, Brady's Run Road up there. It goes all through the Brady's Run Park. So, <laughs> I, I think it's, done. it's cold out here. My hands are frozen. I, I wish I bought my gloves, but I didn't. And I knew better. I even had the gloves on and knocked the snow off my car and stuff. So, this is Monday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day of 2021. I'm off to a good start, I think. going down into the water. This is where the water starts. Down there. I heard some Charlie Daniels over there. Sounds like fun. Look at this. I don't even know if I want to mess with this shit. Nope. Wait out. I ain't standing on that. Such a beautiful sight. Even in winter time, I, I still see the beauty in it. I really do. I love it out here. I just love it. All right. I made good. it back to the car. My hands are frozen. Okay. I can't believe people are out there camping in the middle of the lake. I'd be scared of falling in. No way I would do that. No way. Jeez. They got some, they got some guts there, that's for sure. All right, let me see if I could uh, get some beautiful views here. So we were just, oh, I'm stuck in the snow. Can't go that way, it's detoured, remember? All right, hold on. If I get out of this damn snow, all right, I'm on the road. But yeah, that's the swimming pool. Oh, you go camping. I want to do that. But yeah, that's where we have the special right there. Right there.
Freddy's Room part while taking the Brighton exit on 5th, uh, 376, aka Highway 60, I still call it 60, going toward, uh, back home to Manaka, Beaver County, I love Beaver County, see how fast we can get this sucker, huh? Yeah, boy, look at that. Ah, oh, shit, there's a cop behind me. Psych! Calm before the storm. We got a winter storm coming. Again, this is February 15th, 2021. Uh, 5.12 p.m.? That's what my radio clock says, anyway. 5.12 p.m. February 15th, 2021. Down just a little bit though. Well, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting too old to drive fast. Every year that goes by, every time I age, I drive slower. I'm your gonna be 10 years from now, I'm gonna be your 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 old man after Sunday church morning slow driver holding you up in traffic. But I'm not that right now. I will be in like 10 years. I, I just feel it. I just feel the age sneaking up on me, y'all know. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what's up. I had fun though. Just went out for shit. Oops. Not even an hour. Still can't believe those people are camping on I oh shit the river. When I was on my rubber track adventure, my rubber track adventure, uh, I don't know if y'all can see, those were the tracks I was on. That's the Manaka train. I don't know if you can see it, but the Manaka train bridge is down there. So make sure you check out my uh, Manaka train bridge rubber track adventure, I think I call it. Something like that. It's on my YouTube channel. If you want another Beaver County adventure, because I love Beaver County so much. And uh, yeah, I had fun today. I hope y'all did too, watching us. I make these to express express my, I, I, I just like to express myself in the form of video. I think it's the best way. It's better than writing it down and keeping it memorized in my head, which I, all my stories are in my head, and um, but still creating new, new memories and stuff all the time, like this one. This is the cracker, I think that's part of the cracker pair. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure, it's like, it looks like, I don't know how they put this stuff, I don't even know where they begin to think how, how to put all this stuff together, that's why I ain't no uh, engineer or architect or whatever. Anyway, Hello everybody, my name is Jason here. Um, thank you so much for watching my Brady's Run Park Frozen Lake video. And um, the reason why I went out there yesterday, uh, today is February 16th of 2021. The reason why I went out there yesterday was because someone online asked me what sober living is like. And um, I answered that person in the form of a video and I shared my spiritual awakening story with that person. And I thought, well, why not make a video out of it? So I went to the actual spot where my spiritual awakening happened, which is here at Brady's Run Park. And with all the clips and videos I got, I said I could make a completely separate video. And plus with the snow, it didn't make sense to take pictures in the snow whenever my spiritual, happening, spiritual awakening happened in the summertime. So, and because I brought it up a few times in the frozen lake video everyone y'all just watched i thought i'd just throw this in real quick this is the unedited version of my spiritual awakening the only thing i did with this real quick for because i don't want to leave you guys hanging if i talked about my spiritual awakening so all i did was change the background so i hope y'all enjoy this and if you made it this far thank you so much for watching this video if you watched any of this video thank you so much and god bless everyone and here is my story real quick what's sober living like but first, I have to tell you a short little story about my personal um, spiritual awakening. And this is going to answer your question full detail. So, back in the summer of 2012 at Brady's Run Park in Beaver County, 
I went swimming with my son, his buddy, and they was about 12 years old at the time. And I was about six months clean, and I took my dog to the park for the first time to swim, which she swam like a champ, by the way, a black lab. Anyway, I go swimming for about 10 minutes, and then I get out, and I dry myself off, and my ears pop. And it was the weirdest thing ever. I never experienced this before, okay? And all I hear was complete silence. I heard complete silence, but I also heard only the laughter of my son and his friend playing with the dog in the water. And it was it was a pleasant sound. And then I look up into the sky, and it had those, those big marshmallow-like clouds. And the way the sun was hitting those clouds, it looked like a gold trim around those marshmallow like clouds kind of like something out of a cartoon but it was real and then I looked down at my son and his friend and the dog playing in the water and as I looked at the water the water glistened like like diamonds were sparkling like diamonds were floating on top of the water sparkling the way the sun was hitting it and then it hit me I had this feeling it was the greatest feeling I have experienced in my whole entire life and I said to myself I said, this is it. This is my spiritual awakening. It was a high, so great, but it didn't make me feel like crap. It felt good. I was high off life, and it was so wonderful. And everything was just different from there on out. And I went through life. Everything I looked at, like when I was up using, in the past, when I was up using, and the birds came out chirping and I was still awake. I hated those birds chirping. They were annoying. But after my spiritual awakening, when I heard the birds chirp, I seen the beauty of it. What I heard was not birds chirping, but it was like little angels playing a melody. It was music to my ears. It was pleasant, peaceful, and beautiful. And that's how I look at things ever since my spiritual awakening. Because I could take the ugliest thing and see the beauty in it. I could take the most negative situation and see the positiveness out of it. And it was just wonderful. And this lasted for about 10 months. But all those 10 months, the high never went away. It hit me like a tidal wave. It never, I never came down from it until I put alcohol in me. And it took it all away, just like that. And I was back to the dark side. But. I kept going out to try to pick myself up and try to get clean again. And every time I did, whenever I had enough clean time, usually for me personally, after a few weeks of being clean, I had that perfect high back. It was the perfect high off life. I didn't need no drug. I didn't have to run out of gas. I didn't have to pay any money or ask for it. It just came to me. And the reason why it came to me, because I stayed clean. Not only was I living clean, I was also living right. Because remember, just because someone's living clean doesn't mean they're living right. It took me years to understand that. So I hope you understand that. But that was my spiritual awakening. So your question, once again, what's sober living like? Well, what I just said, the happiness, the high that never went away, it was completely free, that is what living sober life is all about. That's how it was for me anyway. And I thought I'd make this video because I felt that was a very important question. So I hope you got something out of this video. And I really hope, the, I wish the best for you and just do the best you can. And there's a lot of help out there, and, and I hope you make it. And also, um, happy Valentine's Day, and God bless you. I hope you like this video.